Hi everyone, it's Juan Ciel again. Now this time we're going to review the sequel to the first Rocky, Rocky 2. Alright, so after the big, huge success of Rocky 1, there was a sequel, Rocky 2. Of course, the first movie was a sleeper hit. It was the highest grossing movie of 1976 and won Best Picture. I meant picture, not picture, picture. So, of course, like I said earlier in my last um, Rocky review, there had to be sequels. So, of course, Rocky 2 was made three years later. The film begins immediately as soon as Rocky and Apollo Creed were taken to the hospital after their first fight, Apollo wanted a rematch, even though Apollo said that there is going to be no rematch, but I guess he changed his mind, because of course Rocky managed to go the distance with him. So of course, Rocky ended up being hospitalized and had a bad injury on his eye, so he could, so that means he could end up blind and retire. But then. Creed was all like, I could fight you anywhere, any place, anytime, and he just kept on just taunting him and being very rude. And next thing you know, Rocky gets a paycheck from his from his fight and then ends up going on a shopping spree, spending on a car, a jacket, jewelry, and even a house. He even bought some stuff for Adrian. So of course, every person from the first movie is back. And there's not that many important new characters in this movie. This is by far the only sequel that I've ever seen in any movie to not have any major new characters because every sequel in every movie has a new character. This movie, however, doesn't have one. It was the third movie that had new characters like like Mr. T as Clubber Lang, but let's just focus back on the second movie. Of course, Rocky had to retire for just a, a little bit because of his, his eye injury, and of course, he had to get a job. Because since that he had to pay rent and all that, he has to get a job. And he tried to apply at the meat factory from Polly. He had to work on commercials since that he's not a very good reader. He went to try to apply on office jobs. He even tried to go back to the gym with Mickey. And of course, people would make fun of him because he was a champ. He was supposed to be champion, but he really wasn't because he lost. So of course, he wanted to come back into the ring by training with Mickey. So... To make things even more confusing with the series, of course, Rocky marries Adrian. He marries her um, and also proposes her at the zoo, which kind of seems sweet. And uh, of course, Adrian gets pregnant with their son, Rocky Jr. And of course, there is a few funny scenes and a few dramatic scenes. Just like the first movie, Rocky 2 has a lot of drama, but... but in this movie, there's a little bit more humor, like the scene where Rocky thinks that Buttkiss is not any other normal dog. And there's this one other scene where, where Rocky chases the chicken. Or the scene where Mickey says, Chase the chicken! Chase the chicken! And then finally Rocky fails at it, and then the final line of the scene has to be some sort of product placement from KFC. I feel like a Kentucky Fried Idiot. That has to be one of the funniest quotes from Rocky 2, and probably one of the most funniest quotes in the Rocky series in general. There is another quote that's very funny, but we'll deal with that at the end. So of course, the movie goes on with drama, and um, Apollo tries to once again um, taunt Rocky with some sort of newspaper article on, on him being a chicken instead of a stallion, the Italian chicken instead of the Italian stallion. So, of course, Rocky and, and Mickey started training again, but, but Mickey had to teach Rocky how to, be a, how to be a righty instead of a lefty because southpaws are left-handed people. But it's strange how Rocky is a right-handed person because a nurse came by to him and asked for an autograph, and Rocky was writing in his, left, his right hand instead of his left hand. So, technically, he's probably a both-handy person, which has to be cool. I guess Sylvester Stallone is a... Um, excuse me. I can't even talk right now. I think Sylvester Stallone is a righty person more than a lefty. I guess it's only th in the movies where he's a lefty in the punch. So, of course, Rocky trained, and Adrian, you know, didn't want to let him train again because she was afraid he would be blind. And next thing you know, um, um, Polly goes to the pet shop where Adrian works at. He yells at her, and next thing you know, Adrian gives birth to, th to their son, Rocky Jr., and ends up on a coma. So, of course, Rocky came to visit Adrian. And he was crying. And this has to be one of the most emotional scenes in the entire movie because Adrian was about to die because she had a one month premature birth of their son. So they had to wait a few days to, 
to make sure that Adrian wakes up so Adrian and, and Rocky could meet their son together. So, of course, after when they finally got to see their son together, when Adrian woke up, it's time to train. Now, just like the first movie, there was a montage of Rocky running up the stairs of Philadelphia Museum of Art. But this time we get two training montages instead of just one. The first one's the going the distance montage where Rocky works out and lifts weights. While in the second montage, he just runs with a bunch of kids. And I don't even know where those kids came from. They probably just ran and followed Rocky to the, to the museum. And after that, there was the fight. Now, the fight is really good, and I have to say, there are some few flaws, like the punching and the sound effects, but there's also a few intense montages throughout the, throughout the fight. You hear the conquest thing, and next thing you know, um, they fight one more round once again, and of course, Apollo couldn't stand up, and finally, Rocky finally wins the World Heavyweight Championship, and ends up with the movie with saying, Yo, Adrian, I did it! Now, that has to be one of the greatest quotes ever. Yo, Adrian, I did it was a, such a great quote. They mention it again in the sixth movie, instead of saying, Yo, Adrian, I did it, he said, We did it. Overall, this movie is a great successor to the first one. It's equally as good, and it's very, 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 very memorable. This has to be one of my favorite sequels, and I'm really glad how they stick with most of the first characters. And, fun fact, this was the last Rocky movie to be solely distributed by United Artists, while the later movies were distributed by MGM. Now, that's pretty cool. And, of course... Just like the first movie, this was the 2004 um, DVD. See, look, there's Rocky and Apollo during their fight, and there's also a few pictures of characters like Adrian, Polly, Apollo, and Mickey. Pretty much all the supporting characters. And here's Rocky from the Philadelphia Museum with a bunch of kids, and there's Rocky and Adrian proposing to each other at the zoo. And there's the rest, and there's MGM, and of course, 20th Century Fox was the co-distributor of the DVD, while United Artists was the original distributor until MGM got the rights to, to Rocky. Well, of course, United Artists is now a part of MGM as well as Orion Pictures, which is known for Robocop. So, of course, this concludes my review. If you haven't seen any Rocky sequels but only the first one, this one's pretty good. It's a very good successor to the first movie and has a very good charm and memorable scenes. Rent it, watch it on Netflix, or even just buy an actual copy. So, I hope you all hit the subscribe button, and as Rocky would once again say, Yo, Adrian, I made a good movie! Because this time he actually directed the movie. Because this was Sylvester Stallone's first um, movie that he directed in the Rocky series, except for the fifth movie. The fifth movie was the only movie he did not direct, while the seventh movie, Creed, he only produces. So once again, hit the subscribe button, rock on, and peace out. Ciao!